do the homeless have the right to sleep overnight in our parks? Well, homeless advocates are speaking out after they say the rights of homeless were violated by police. And here's what started it. Video showing Denver police officers filling a park to enforce park curfew violations. Well, Denver 7 Sally Mamdu spoke to both sides on this issue. She joins us now from 15th and Little Raven, where this all happened. Sally? And police say no one is allowed to be at the park or sleep at the park past the curfew times, which is from 11 o'clock at night till 5 o'clock in the morning. But they also say this is not just a curfew problem. This has started to turn more into a safety issue. This is, this is crazy. Everybody who was in the park got a ticket for park curfew violation. Denver police filled much of the Confluence Park to clear out the homeless this morning. We got in trouble for sitting in a public space over here. There's over 20 cops that have uh, contacted us. And several people got tickets, including myself. But Robert Hudson with the Denver Homeless Outlet wasn't among people sleeping at the park. He was just there filming with his cell phone as police arrived. We got a tip last week and we decided that it's important to go film it. But police also got a tip from concerned residents. This was to um, help with the community, community complaints of all of the unsafe uh, living and the conditions down up on the river. 36 people were cited for being at the park past curfew times. Homeless advocates say they didn't think the northwest corner of 15 and Little Raven was part of the park and think citations were not warranted. I thought it was um, way overkill because there's other crimes going on in the city and getting targeted for being in the park when there's other major crimes going on for people just sleeping. But police say while it may seem harmless, it was starting to become more of a safety issue. I would be concerned walking down there by myself if I am just a lonely woman walking through um, and have parties with knives and weapons or, or, or they're shooting up or they're hurting or fighting each other. Now, while police were clearing out uh, the homeless people out here, they did have people with them offering help and resources on where to go for shelters. But the homeless advocates say none of the shelters are open that late. They also tell us right now there are about 5,500 homeless people living in the city of Denver, and there are only about five shelters available, many of which are not appropriate. We're putting live in downtown. Sally Memdu, Denver 7.